first, we head to Tiger Stadium for the matchup against Louisiana Tech Saturday night. That's right, Brian. Coach Derek Dooley and his dogs came into Valley looking to shake things up for the Tigers. And to be quite honest, they actually did for a minute. Let's go ahead and roll the highlights so you can go ahead and take a look. Over in the first quarter, Keelan Williams with this little run of the middle, not really little, as he trucked it for 116 yards on the night. That was his first big run of the night for about 16 yards. Next up, Brandon LaFell with a 38-yard touchdown reception all the way downfield as he rumbles and stumbles into the end zone for the little flip. That was his first and only touchdown of the night. And getting the offensive wheels turning a little bit in the second quarter, Louisiana Tech quarterback would find one of his favorite targets to hand off and sometimes throw to. Daniel Porter catches the screen pass here from Jenkins and takes it 16 yards. Pretty big game, I and mean, that pretty big game leads to this touchdown here. Jenkins steps off like he's correcting somebody. The quick snap to the running back court, and he finds his tight end, Dennis Morris, in the back of the end zone to get Louisiana Tech. The lead, 13 to 10 at the lead at the half. Ooh, However, that wouldn't last for long as Jared Lee completed this pass to JoJo LaFell. JoJo had 54 of Lee's 105 passing yards on the night. And as Keelan Williams from three yards out would rumble and stumble into the end zone to get the go-ahead touchdown for the Tigers. That was Keelan's first on the night as he celebrates with JoJo for their little um, hookup of the night. Little, 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 nice, little, something. Little, nice little something. And everybody loves to see Russell Shepard touch the ball. Who doesn't? Who do you like to watch Russell Shepard? Why? Because he does things like this, picks up 14 yards here on this little scamper. And what he couldn't finish, Keelan Williams did again as Keelan breaks the tackle here, jukes another at the goal line, and gets his second touchdown of the night. Keelan averaged an amazing 7.7 .7 yards of uh, carry tonight. Basically, the first time, first yeah, down every time he touched the ball. The Tigers went on to win by a final score of 24 to 16. Poor Jared Lee. Heard the booze rain down from Tiger Stadium once again, completing only 7 of 22 passes. If I do my math correct, that's 15 incompletions. LSU's Keelan Williams replaced the injured Charles Scott. Keelan racked up 116 yards on 15 carries and those two touchdowns we showed you. Now, what is it exactly that Tiger fans should be worried about, Hogan? Brian, how about that rush defense? The Tigers gave up 178 yards on the ground to a 3-7 and seven Louisiana Tech team. It's only reasonable to assume that old Mrs. Dexter McCluster, who rushed for over 250 yards on Tennessee, will be the Rebels' go-to option this Saturday against LSU. That certainly can't happen. The Tigers might drop in the poll. What poll do you speak of? The coaches' poll. LSU moved up to number 10 this week with the USC loss to Stanford on Saturday. Meanwhile, the rest of the top 10 in the coaches' polls stay the same. The six undefeated teams hold out the top six spots with powerhouses Florida, Texas, and Alabama on top. And on to the BCS poll now, the poll that actually matters this time of year. The top six remain the same, but with the loss to Stanford, USC is far from the top 10. Pittsburgh actually moved into the top 10 which potentially makes the looming December 5th matchup with Cincinnati more than what the Big East expected for. 